If you were to oversimplify creative writing into two skills, I think it would be storytelling and painting of words. All writers have to know how to do both, but I feel like most writers will approach the art of writing from one angle of it. For example, I consider myself a painter with words. Descriptions, visuals, and emotions have always come easier to me than plot, pacing, and tension. I bring this up for a few reasons. The first is that I think it's useful to know what your foundation is as a writer, what comes naturally, and what you have to be more intentional about. You don't have to divide creative writing into these two skills like I do, I'm just offering a potential framework, but do take a moment to think about it. It can help you when you need to figure out a good entry point into a scene. For example, if you're good with emotion, start with emotion. Or it can help you diagnose trouble points in your writing, like if you're not as great at emotion, it's important to know that and to look out for it. The other reason I bring this up is because, in my personal opinion, storytelling is valued much more in the commercial space than beautiful writing is. Take this with a grain of salt, as I'm not actually in the industry yet, I'm working on my debut, but I did go to school for writing, and I've been present in a lot of craftsmanship and workshop spaces, and yes, I'm on writer talk, and I just feel like I almost never see writing coaches talk about making your writing beautiful or elegant. It's always about story structure and plot and all of these very important things, yes, but when the topic of language comes up, it's treated as if language should only ever be an under decorated vehicle for your story. Now, not everyone is a floral writer. Not everyone cares about the sound of their language, and that's totally valid. Take Dan Brown, for example, the author of The Da Vinci Code. In his masterclass, he talks about how language is just a tool for telling the story and that it should be clear and direct and shouldn't get in the way of the story. This is solid advice, and I think The Da Vinci Code is an objectively good book, even though it's not a beautiful book. But at the same time, there's a way to write elegantly and not so economically while still having it serve the storytelling. The other thing is that, again, in my observation, the market seems to be very accepting of compelling stories of mediocre writing. I'm not going to name names, but just think to yourself of a really popular book that you thought had terrible writing. We're all probably thinking of the same ones. Those authors didn't have to have excellent language because the base content of their book was sellable. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Again, in my novice observation, I do think that beautiful language is undervalued commercially. But at the same time, I've noticed that when people are presented with beautiful language, they appreciate it. And for me personally, a 10 out of 10 book should have extraordinary language. My friend Brittany did a three-part series here on TikTok breaking down quotes of beautiful prose from commercially, sex sex commercially successful authors. So go check that out for examples. Her username is of paths and pages. If you want to work on the sound of your language, I recommend reading Steering the Craft by Ursula Le Guin. You can also go check out my TikTok about writing better analogies for some tips on how laying your analogies will make them stronger. And I've also done some videos about grammar and editing Taylor Swift lyrics, which are all focused on the art of language. Uh, I'll try to create more content for my painters and floral writers out there, but it's a hard thing to lecture on, and maybe that's why author coaches don't talk about it. Uh, if you really want to improve your use of language, reading beautiful writing and being edited is the way to go. I do offer editing services through my Patreon. Just go to my link tree in my bio. You can also join my writing group for just $3 a month and get your work edited that way. So uh, also, if you know of any authors or author coaches who give good advice for painterly writers, please share in the comments. Happy writing.